So this is me, Gavin. I'm from Cork in Ireland. I've lived in Indianapolis since 2001, been a citizen of the US since 2012. And as I speak, it's January 2019. This picture was taken on the morning of August the 17th, 2018 by Mike's son, Matt, who had helped us drive down in uh, Mike's truck, an F-150. We had the two bikes in the back of the truck. And this is the motel in Wesleyan, Arkansas. Um, just as an aside, there was actually five other riders on the tap edge staying just up at the other end of here, and two more were on the corner. Um, so there were nine tat riders in total staying in the motel that night, um, ironically enough. Um, sorry, this is actually Saturday, August the 18th. We drove down from Indianapolis on the 17th. So our bikes are uh, two WR250Rs, um, both 2013 models, bought in 2015. I'm not going to go into much detail on the bikes for now, but you can see we've got Moscow Moto, uh, reckless 80s uh, that's uh, frozen water for my water bladder by the way oh, sorry for nudging this tripod um i've been riding bikes since the age of 18 i'm 46 now and it's 46 in the picture and normally my hair's not that short by the way I shaved it off just for ease because i know we'd be uh, camping an awful lot and wouldn't have ready access to many showers um i've ridden as i say I've ridden bikes since i was 18 um, mostly sports bikes um was riding uh, solely bikes. I uh, didn't have a car until I moved to the US at the age of uh, 28. The weather in Ireland is mild enough that uh, year round that you can ride year round. I also lived in the UK for five years and did the same there. Um, and then in 2015, got this guy. I'd done uh, a lot of track days. Uh, I'd sold that bike. I also had a VFR 800 that I'd done a lot of traveling around the US on a lot of national parks in various states and uh, I'd been on to Peru um, in 2005 on a 250 dirt bike and travel on there for a while with a guide and really enjoyed that and I had wanted to get a juice sport bike for quite a while and uh, Mike I met Mike at work he's a colleague now we work in the same department and um, I suppose he encouraged me to uh, he tipped me over the edge to get the juice sport and we ended up getting a WR250Rs. Now Mike has never ridden any bike until he got the his WR250R. We got them both same day, March 2015. So we've been doing various juice ball rides. And I can't remember exactly when we decided on doing the Transamerica Trail, but it's been at least a couple of years, maybe even before we got the bikes. So we made the commitment and we did it. So um, you can't really tell from this picture, but I'm kind of nervous. Uh, a three week long ride is the longest I've done by, by two weeks and I knew it was going to be physically tough at times, mentally tough as well. Um, but uh, once we got rolling, it was great. You know, I had, I had some tough times, not going to lie. Um, but it was a wonderful, wonderful trip, what an adventure. And Mike was a fantastic traveling companion. Okay, we're going up here to a boat ramp. They'll bring us to the on the Mississippi River, where we're going to start our Trans America Trail ride. Wow, I've never seen that many herons in one place. Of the Atlantic. Okay, Mike's got his tire in the water that's soon to be in the Atlantic. I'm gonna copy you. There we go. It's pretty steep. This is Scotch Armadillo. I go up and stop in the flat part. Put in my earplugs. That's it, that's the start of the Transmerth Trail for Gavin and Mike. 
So I'm going to pause the video there to show you something that I couldn't get on there with my very very basic video editor on my surface here. Um, so over here is Mississippi. This is the Mississippi River and this is Arkansas. So the logic being that if we stick our tires in the Mississippi River that ultimately flows into the Gulf of Mexico which is part of the Atlantic and we then finish by putting our tires into Pacific Ocean at Port Arford in Oregon we'll have gone from coast to coast I know that's a big stretch but we only had three weeks off work and we couldn't do the whole of the trails so this is where we started so we actually started in uh, West Helena in Arkansas at the Mississippi River and over the next three weeks we made our way along Sam's route all the way to Port Arford. So we um, put the bikes in the back of Mike's truck and um, we trucked the bikes down to the motel in West Helena, Arkansas, met some other fellow tap riders there. I'll cover that in a video later most likely. And then as I say over the next three weeks we made our way over to, to Port Arford. We had uh, two rest days. The idea was being we'd uh, ride for a week, take a day off, ride for another week, take a day off. It didn't quite work out exactly like that. Um, but the first one was set up for um, Colorado Springs, which is actually off the, quite a bit off the trail. And that's where we also met Alex. You'll see him later on in the videos. Good friend of ours also from work. Um, we did do a detour here um, to do um, the wash. The name escapes me at the moment. Didn't work out quite like plan quite as planned. And then the next detour we did, we had to do a detour here in Idaho because it's a, a washed out river. That'll come up in the videos later as well. And then we had our uh, rest day actually at uh, Crater Lake National Park, spectacular national park. I will surely cover that in the videos later on. And then we finished up on the coast, the Pacific coast, looking out onto the beautiful Pacific Ocean on September 7th. It was a Friday of 2018 and then the following day um, we rode the bikes up the Highway 101 and across to Eugene in Oregon uh, gave the bikes to the shippers and flew the next morning and I'll cover those in the videos as we go through so away we go